Nintendo and Plango stole all the headlines at the 2016 Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro, claiming a stunning silver in the 200-meter T42 class as a 14-year-old. Today, the double amputee is regarded as one of the brightest talents in the Paralympic movement and an inspiration to many. If I had to say the day that I realized that I love athletics um, is when I started enjoying training. Uh, you know, going to training, it was not any, any more training for me. It was something that I do, that I love. Um, you know, every day when I go to track, you know, even if I had a bad day, I would come back home happy. And then you realize that, you know, you're doing this not because of, of the other things, um, but you're doing it for the passion and you're doing it because, you know, it makes you happy and because, because you love it. Born with a condition known as congenital hemimelia, Ntando Mplangu spent most of his young life in a wheelchair. The year of his 10th birthday, incidentally also the year of the London Paralympic Games, his life changed forever as he was fitted with a pair of prosthetics. You know, it's the ability to move, it's, it's the ability to, 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 be, to be able to go from one place to another. You know, in the first 10 years of my life, I wasn't able to move. I wasn't able to go from one place to another. So I think that's why, I, you know, I, 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 I got love uh, for, for, for athletics is because I was able to get from the start to the finish line. The track start took just over a week after receiving his prosthetics to learn to run and hasn't looked back. Now his target is to claim top spot on the podium for the 200 meter event in Tokyo. I, I would love to get to, to get a, a gold medal. That's that's the goal. I think you know I was telling someone else the other day that you you know as an athlete you don't train for the silver medal, you don't train for the bronze. Even if you're the slowest athlete in the world, you, you always go big, you always dream big. Uh, you know, so yes, I, I would love to go for, for, for the gold medal. But if that's my approach, then you know I'm just going for the gold medal. And I want to go bigger than that, you know, I want to go for faster times, you know, I, I want to, you know, I want to change the world, I want to do a lot of things. The Pretoria High School senior aspires to be like his idol, who happens to be Africa's fastest man and a gold medal contender in the 100 metres at the Olympic Games. If I had to, to choose athletic-wise, you know, it, it would be Akani Simbini, um, also one of the greatest athletes that we have in, in, in South Africa, uh, you know, uh, dominating also, uh, also, but also something that I, I love about him is, is the humility, you know, that he has, a uh, very humble guy, you know, those, those are the type of things that I, I like about athletes, you know, humble guys, you know, always on the ground, you know, um, no matter what the result is, and, and, and that, is, that is the type of athlete that I want to be. Uh, one day. The remarkable thing about the African record holder is that over 95% of all people with above the knee amputations never manage to walk. They're confined to wheelchairs. Ntando has certainly defied the odds and is able not only to walk but to sprint. He is an inspiration and a global Paralympic superstar in the making. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg.